With millions of tourism dollars flowing into the city just from cycling and cycling-related events and the growing popularity of the bicycle transit system, it's never been more important to protect the safety of the group officials call the most vulnerable users of our roadways. News 12 videographer Ashley Henderson gives us an update on our progress and on the rollout of the Chattanooga Police Department's new bike safety initiative. It's a special report. I've never seen a bicycle kill a car. I've seen lots of cars kill bicycles. And I don't want to see another bicyclist or pedestrian killed by a car as long as I live. We've seen the change with our police department, taking a very serious focus on pedestrian and bicyclist safety. The next ticket that we write for the safe passing law in Chattanooga will be the first ticket we've written for it. <laughs> Most motorists have never been on a bicycle and experienced that. And we by no means believe that motorists are trying to jeopardize cyclists. But we do believe that there is a lack of mutual understanding about what it feels like to be that exposed and that close to a 4,000 pound vehicle. A lot of it is just public perception of how do we share this, this public space. About 60% of general populations are interested in using a bike for transportation if it's one, two, three, four miles. Um, but they won't do it if they're in traffic. So a protected lane is geared towards reusing the street, getting better use out of it, and providing a safer way for people to move around in the city. We're not doing this for the sake of cyclists, and we're not doing it for the sake of pedestrians. We're doing it for the sake of Chattanooga as a whole. Cyclists are not bicycles. They are human beings who are riding a bicycle, and they are not the vehicle that we see them conveying themselves upon. And that's sort of part of the message of the Chattanooga Safe Biking Initiative as well. For several years, I've been frustrated as a cyclist myself um, with the, the level of education and enforcement in the city of Chattanooga. It's a difficult law to, to enforce, which is why Officer Simmons created the Safe Biking Initiative in, in Chattanooga. There's three phases to it. The first phase is education of motorists, and what we do is we educate the motorist on the rights that cyclists have on the roadways. Tennessee and Georgia both have state laws. We are proud to be in a state that takes the safety of its most vulnerable riders seriously. The second phase was the education of cyclists. If it's substandard in width, um, then a cyclist is entitled to control the entire lane. They do not have to stay all the way to the right. State law in Tennessee requires that a motor vehicle give at least three feet to the cyclist when they're passing them. The third phase, which is about to begin next week, is is the enforcement phase. It's just like a radar gun. It sends out a signal, it bounces off a car, and it tells me in inches how far away that vehicle is. If they're within three feet, an alarm will sound. The officer then will radio for a patrol car to come and stop that vehicle. Then we can either educate them, uh, cite them. We also have it set up with a GoPro camera so that we can use a tablet and show the motorist while he's still sitting in his vehicle how close his car came to that cyclist. It's, it's, it's a moving billboard pretty much to educate motorists about the free foot rule. I'm hoping that this education campaign will um, change a lot of behaviors and uh, just inform a lot of people that uh, we're sharing the roads and it's not just theirs. Now construction of the city's first protected bike lanes should begin this fall. Well, the